And just like that, it was time to leave Wyala. Temperature was still around the 40 degree mark, uh, so we wanted to maximise the Hilux aircon. Just doing a quick lap of towns as we pass through. Kept the occasional eye on the wheel bearings to make sure they're not getting hot. This is a town called Atherton. We found it on the map because there's a tap up here. We need to fill up our water tank. Also happens to have a free overnight stay area. Seems to be between two churches and apparently a graveyard. Uh, there's no one here and there's a bit of shade and uh, there's ladies and gents flushing toilets. Surprised by the impressive marina facilities in so many of the small coastal towns. We loved Edithburg and it finally gave us an opportunity to get into the water, if only for a snorkel. During our time on York, the weather seemed to go from 40 degrees one day to 40 knots the next. We really wanted to check out the coastline, but opted to do so mostly from the comfort of the cab. We thought Marion Bay Caravan Park was a bit pricey, but it's well enough equipped and right on the doorstep of the Innes National Park. Don't panic ladies and gents, those sausages were already cooked, so just a little bit of a warm up and my steak is a perfect medium.
in this national park is small enough that you can do it in a day trip and that's just as well because there's only one way in and one way out. Once you get to Browns Beach it's time to turn around and go back the way you came and some of the roads are quite corrugated. Once out of the park, we opted to go straight up to Waruka, so potentially missed out on some of the best the York Peninsula has to offer. But with stiff nor'easters forecast and a lack of quality campsites that we could find on Wiki anyway, we weren't in the mood for more sandblasting. Mm -hmm. 